In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this dreamy inverted glow effect in After Effects. And yeah, I thought this was a super, super cool effect. Very unique and has this kind of Y2K style to it. I thought it looked super, super cool. And you guys don't need to worry. We're going to be creating this completely plugin free. And before we start the video, I just wanted to let the guys know that I just updated my Positive Poison Preset Pack, which is a part of my All-in-One Bundle. And the pack is now completely plugin free. And it has this super colorful, cool look looking Y2K effects that you can get in a single drag and drop. So the link to the pack and the all-in-one bundle is going to be linked down below. Now let's create this dreamy inverted glow effect. So here we are on After Effects and I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing this effect on and the composition settings I'm using is FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same. So here what we're going to be doing is basically start off by creating a adjustment layer. So press Ctrl Alt Y and we're going to start off by adding noise to get this kind of textured feeling to the whole effect. So add a noise here and we're going to add a tiny noise boost here. So I'm going to set it to 10% and as you guys can see it's going to give this noise drain look here after that we're going to be adding the invert effect here and now it's going to look something like this and we're already getting this kind of inverted look we are yeah striving for to get but we're going to change some settings here so the channel here i'm going to change that to blue instead of rgb and we will be getting this kind of look instead and after that for the most important effect here to create this kind of invert look here we're going to be adding curves and here in the curves graph here is where you can get really really unique and create really really yeah unique y2k inverted glow looks here so i'm going to start with the normal uh, brightness graph here i'm going to drag it down a little bit like that so now we can see the blue starting to pop a lot more and then we can go over to red here and then we can adjust see what we want to have so i'm gonna drag it down a little bit that's gonna make the blue pop out even more so i'm gonna drag it down something like that i'm gonna drag it to something like that now it's really starting to get really good looking here then we're gonna change the channel to green and here drag it up a little bit and drag this one down and then change to blue here we can play around a little bit i'm gonna drag this one up this one down and now it really now we're really getting this cool looking inverted effect here so yeah something like that looks very very cool and we're getting a really really unique blue touch to the whole video here now after that when you're satisfied with your uh, curves look we're going to be adding exposure to get some brightness back in my case at least so add exposure to this and here i'm going to set it to one to get the brightness back just like that now to play around with the colors even more we're going to be adding a four color gradient and i want to go for this kind of blue inverted look here so i'm going to change the colors here to blue i'm going to take this blue make it a little bit brighter something like that and then just copy it to the other color positions like that then i'm going to set the blending mode to hue and now it's going to look something like this here which looks really really good after that we're going to be adding glow to this here i'm going to go very simple so default threshold default radius but i'm going to drag down the intensity to 0.1 here after that press ctrl d set the radius to 300 and then the glow intensity to 0.3 then press ctrl d once again Set the glow radius to 600 and the glow intensity to 0.6. Great, and we'll be getting this kind of look here. Looks really, really nice. And if you want to go back and adjust, you can do that to see if you can get a even cooler look here. Now, after some small adjustments here, we get this super, super cool white decay blue inverted look here looks super super cool especially with the hair here looks super super cool now to save this as a preset you just select all of the effects here go to animation save animation preset here you just name it and then press save great so if you guys like the effect we just created now you guys are definitely going to like the positive poison preset pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle it has over 20 drag and drop white decay effects just like this one here which you get in seconds and i'm going to show you guys how it's going to look so what you just need to do is making a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y use the presets positive poison presets and here i have over 20 drag and drop no plugins presets and here we can just drag on the fire poison for example drag and drop and now when we play it we will be getting this insanely cool look here absolutely incredible really has this kind of textured poster white decay look here absolutely incredible we can make a new adjustment layer here we can drag on the earth poison drag and drop and this is how the earth poison is going to look super super cool it has this kind of you know earth earthy tones to it 
absolutely incredible YTK effect here. We could add Sunset Poison, drag and drop. And this is how this Sunset Poison is going to look. Super, super cool color combination here. Really has this extra grunge touch to it. Looks super, super cool. And these super cool colorful YTK presets are really going to make your videos stand out a lot here. Looks absolutely incredible. So to check out the Positive Poison preset pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle, is going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. Other than that, I hope you guys liked this tutorial and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.